If you are an ardent follower of my YouTube channel, you would have realized that we have explained materials that are made available for wild physics practical. We actually do not know where the questions are actually going to come from. So we are trying to put together one or two things to ensure that at least we can predict what we'll, come, uh, what we'll be having during the exam uh, physics practical problem. So in my previous videos, I have done three videos on possible questions from question one. You can search through my channels to see if you can lay your hands on that. So based on the spirit of that, so I have this on the board today. So I have this on the board and I was trying to look through the material that we have and I tried to ignore some of the materials they actually provided. But I was paying attention to two masses that are, so, that are supposed to be sealed. Two masses that are supposed to be sealed. So that's why I tried to come up with this. So you can see that I have a mass here, P, and another mass here, Q. So I am assuming that this could be a possible case scenario. There's a possibility that of all the materials that are provided, that ask, they ask us to provide, they may not use all of them. That is a possibility. And uh, there's also a possibility that they may use all of them, which we have come up with something nice that you may check uh, on my other uh, videos. So, please, before I go on with this, do not forget to subscribe if you have not done that yet. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, share the videos, like them so that other people can also benefit from this. And also, do not forget to add your comments. Your comment, your feedback is very important to us to know what, what we have to do to improve on what we are doing. Okay, without much ado, let us quickly uh, start with this. So, you have the setup. Obviously, this is a meter row, and you have a knife edge. Then, you have masses and you have positions on the knife edge. So, let me quickly read through this. You are provided with a meter rule, a knife edge, two pieces of thread, and two masses P and Q. Okay, balance the meter rule horizontally on the knife edge and record the balance point G. With the knife edge at the 60 cm mark of the meter rule, suspend mass Q at the 20 cm mark and P at the 60 cm mark such that the rule balances horizontally as illustrated in the diagram above. Record the position X, you can see S here, of Q and Y of P. So this is position of P, Y here. Record the, okay, we have done that. Evaluate L equals M minus X and D is equal to Y minus N. So we'll do all of that and repeat the procedures of four other values of four other positions of Q at 18, 16, 14, and 12. So let me end it here. So I'm going to draw a table for this. I'm going to draw a table for this starting from here. So this is what it asks us to record. I'm going to record the value of G. We're going to measure that and record it separately. We'll put that there. Then on our table, we have to determine the position of we have to record the position of what? X of Q and the position of what? Y of P. Now let's look at this. The position of X from the first uh, statement is that X should be placed at the 20 cm mark. So that should be the position of X. So we'll start with that. So I'm going to have this X in centimeter. Now we have to also record the position of the position y of p. So I'm going to have y in centimeter. Then next we are going to evaluate 
L equals M minus S, so that will be the L equals M minus X in centimeter also. Next, we record D equals Y minus M. D equals Y minus M also in centimeter. So these are what we, are, what we have to look for in the table. But we know the position of X. The position of X is, the first one is 20, so we have 20.0. Then we also have what? We have to repeat the position of what? 18, 16, 14, and what? 12. So we have 18.0, 16.0, 14.0, and finally we have 12.0. So these are the positions. Now we will start with the uh, experiment proper. So I will not have to be going through this again. I will just go through this. So first of all, get G. Note that the knife edge is placed at the 60 cm mark. So we have to place the knife edge permanently at the 60 cm mark. All right. Let us first go balance this horizontally on the knife edge and get the balance point. Okay, my balance point is exactly at the 50 cm mark. So I'm going to write 50.0 cm. So that's my balance point. Next, so this is my mass labeled P. So I'm reading this way. So I'm going to place P. Okay, I'm going to adjust this. I'm moving to the 60 cm mark. So I have moved this to the 60 cm mark. So I'm reading this way. This is my zero mark. So this is my 60 cm mark. So I'm going to place this on this side. Okay, before I place this, we are told to place Q on at the 20 cm mark. So I'm going to place this at the 20 cm mark. Okay. Then I cannot place this and try to balance it horizontally. Okay. Okay. Let me turn this this way because of have space. Okay. So this is at the 20 cm mark. Let me move this to the edge. Okay, see that? Only to the left side. So I have to adjust this. Still falling this way. So I'll adjust this closer to this. Okay, now it's falling this way, so I have to move this backward. Okay. You have to adjust until you get a balance point. So it's still falling that way. So I have to move this, continue to move this backward. Now it's falling to the right, so I have to move backward. Just adjust the bit. Okay. So I'm sure that this is still on the twenty CM. That is a bit weird. Let me adjust this a bit. Okay, remember that I'm using the inside. So my position here is 79.9. So it is 79.9 on zero. That's my position 
Why? I have to take all my readings before I start to adjust. Uh, adjust. So the next thing I have to do is to take this one to the 18 cm mark. So now it is on the 18 cm mark. Then maybe this is going to tip to the other side. So what I have to do is to move this a bit closer to this. It must balance horizontally. Okay, still falling off. Let me move this a bit away. Okay. Want to balance horizontally. So my balance point is at 80.2. 80.2. Okay. Here I said seventy nine point nine, not seventy point nine. Sorry, it's seventy nine point nine, seventy nine point nine, and this one is eighty point two. I think I can take that again, again to verify that. Okay, so it's nine point nine. Now let's adjust it to sixteen point zero. So I'm going to move this to sixteen point zero. Okay. So I have to adjust this backward. Still a little bit tighter to this side. Perfect. So this is eighty point five point six point seven point eight point nine. Eighty point nine. So I have eighty point nine. Then let's adjust it to sixteen. No, sorry, to 14, just did 16. So move this backward a bit. Eighty one point two. So I have eighty one point two. So let me move it to twelve. So then I have to move this back a bit. Eighty one point five. So I have eighty one point five. 
So that's that about that. So we cannot take the evaluation. We are asked to evaluate L equals M minus X. The position L, M is 60. Remember that we place this permanently on 60. So this is going to be L is M minus X, 60 minus 20, 40. 0, 60 minus 18, that's for 2.0, 60 minus 16, that's for 4.0, 60 minus 14, that's for 6.0, and then 60 minus 12 is equal to 48.0. So that's going to be 79.9, 79.9 minus 60, 60 minus 60. Is equal to 19.9. 80.2 minus 60. That is 20.2. Don't have 80.9 minus 60. That's 20.9. Don't have 81.2 minus 60. That's 21.2. Don't have 81.5 minus 60. That is 21.5. 21.5. So these are our reading. Now, this gives us our reading.